And welcome back to Holden's Golden Age of Wargaming, part 16 of our Let's Play of Soldiers. And from here on out, I will be doing the complete turn, uh, so not breaking it up into each side. Uh, I know pretty much I'm good with the rules now, I think. Uh, so let's get going, and let's resolve this battle. Alright, so the first uh, part is the French movement phase. And here we go. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, two and a half, four and a half. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we need this. Not moving, not moving. Not moving. Probably gonna move you. Now here we're gonna be able to take this town hex. So we are making progress. Unfortunately, we can't go in here. This gets removed right after our move phase, which means that the Germans are gonna be able to get in there. They're gonna be able to get in there. Yeah, how do we stop that? This guy has a range of four. We have a range of three. So if we go there, he'd be able to shoot at us. There's no way around it. Now this machine gun, however, could go one, two, three. Yeah, and do an interdicting fire here. Yeah, that would be two to one odds. They wouldn't like that, would they? So I guess that's what we're going to do. But that means we can't be in that. We're not going to be able to be in this row. So we're going to go one, two, three. Still have two movement points left. So we will be able to fire that machine gun. But I cannot block its line of sight. So let's get... We know the Germans aren't going to forget that this guy is here again. So we're going to move him in. And we're going to move one of these guys in. <laughs> no, that's not what I want. Now we have one left here, one left here. We have these poor two, two infantry companies that are going to get fired at again unless we do something about it. One, two, three. He can get to there. And then he'll get shot at. Of course, this guy's going to want to kill this guy. Take the town. We can't move one, two. We can't be here, that's right, because we need to do that interdicting fire. One, two, three. So this guy, I don't know what to do with him. I don't know what to do with him. This guy could go one, two. He can't see into the town, so we'd have to move up. And then, and then we die, basically. We'd be a uh, three to one attack if just this one unit fires. Do we try to go by? One, two, three, four, five. That would cause some issues, wouldn't it? That would cause some issues. Let's try that. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can make the Germans have some hard choices here. And this infantry here. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what to do with this guy. Can't go in here. I can't go in there. Can't go in here. I'd love to. The Germans are going to go in there and they'll attack them. So they'll attack them. Ah, it's just terrible, terrible, terrible. But these guys will be able to fire back. And now we've given them a choice here. So let's go one, two. <sighs> yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Tough. It's tough, ladies and gentlemen. It's tough. And I believe that is the end of the move phase. So now we remove the markers. And it is our fire phase. So, very first thing this machine gun is going to do an interdicting fire. 
and try to make it tough for them to go into that town hex that we know they're gonna want. And yeah, that works. Okay. Interesting fire. So he has fired. This guy, one, two, three, he can't he can't do anything. So just walk him out. And these guys can't do anything either. Certain behind our own faces. Our own we have an enemy phase disruption. Enemy phase disruption. Oh I almost forgot here. This enemy phase disruption comes off. The German unit. So he's going to be able to move. We don't like that, but we have our field gun. Take care of that. Nothing here. It's terrible. Terrible. That's enemy phase. That's enemy phase. Their disruptions don't come up until after the German movement. Okay, so the field gun is our only guy that's going to fire, and he, of course, is going to fire at this guy here. Uh, we have a uh, six to two and the range is 16 hexes to him so uh that's three to one odds let's see if we can do something here let's see if we can do something here we go <sighs> i do believe that is an elimination Ooh, the french get lucky so that goes there, but we're going to put it under. Oh, yeah, right. These come off as well. Okay. Those come off as well. Not that it matters now because we can't move. So this is going to go here. But the German, that German infantry will get the fire back. And these guys, we can't do anything. So that's it. That is it for the fire movement for the French. So, yes, right, right. I'm not forgetting anything. No, no, no. So now we're going to flip these back over. Uh, and these guys. And then we're going to rotate the map. We're now on the German fire phase. And the Germans. So now the Germans are going to get the fire, and they're going to get the move, and then they're going to get the fire again. Uh, which they always, have. of course, they always have. But this is the first time I'm actually going to play it out all at once. So... Interesting. One, two, three. Well, we can't let that go, can we? Um, we do have a gun here, so that's I forgot about the guns. <laughs> so we would like to use them for something else. And we do have this guy. It really isn't able. Well, we have movement here. We could move up, and we get shot. This guy is eliminated, so he's going to do a reserve fire here. Uh, are we going to move anything? We're not moving these guys. Let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. This is just a fire. Hold. Hold. Come on. All right. So this is just firing. Um, one, two. So he could fire at these guys. We can't fire at them unless we move out of the town. We're not about to do that. And well, we can't move anyways. Jeez. Um, one, two, three. It's a three. But then he can't really fire at anything else, can he? Well, I can do the. I can fire. I don't have to declare all my fire before I do it, as far as I can tell. So we'll fire this one at this infantry here. That's a three to two. That's just one to one odds. Let's see if we can disrupt them. Saving our one of our, our field guns for trying to do this assault again. So here we go. We just want to disrupt them. Let's see. Nope. Nope. That's not going to happen. All right. Fine. That means I have to. I'm going to have to use this field gun to shoot at this guy. So that's uh five or ten to two. That's five to one odds. Let's see. What happens? Five to one odds. Where's our field gun? Where's our field gun? Five to one, we need a one to four to destroy. Five or six disrupts. 
Okay, well, I see I'm back to back to what I do best. All right, so that's a disrupted, disrupted friendly phase. This is still coming after the French movement. So that's friendly phase disrupted. He could shoot, but well, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, all right. So what do we have here now? We have. We're gonna try this again, ladies and gentlemen. Try it again. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one times two is forty-two. That's five to one odds. Five to one odds. Oh yes, right, right. These enemy phase disruption. No, no, they don't. Man, sequence of play would come in real handy. Uh, telling you how to do all. Telling you what order things happen. So we're gonna fire both of these. Come on. Come on. 42 to 8. That's 5 to 1. 5 to 1. Here we go. Once again, we need 1 to 4 to eliminate. I do believe we finally, finally eliminate that unit. Uh, let's get rid of that. And I do believe. That happens immediately because he's already done his fire. So we'll put them over there. Yes. And I know I have an elimination counter right here. Put that back. Okie dokie. Now, this unit here is going to act as an observer for this. This infantry, this field gun, and this howitzer. So we have a total of 7, 17, 26, halved is 13. So that's just a lousy one to one here. One to one. And we're trying to flip that over to friendly phase disruption. Oh, wait a minute. That should be able to come off. That should already be off. We'll leave it there in case we get the friendly. All right. So, field gun. And that is a disruption. So, right back on. And, no, no, he was disrupted. I couldn't have fired with him. However, no, that's right. No. Yes, yeah, right. That shouldn't have come off. It should have been enemy disrupted. And now it's flipped to friendly disrupted. Oh, he smokes. All right, and that is that. I believe that is everything with the German fire. So now I'm going to remove the markers. And it's now the German movement phase which makes it now friendly phase for the German units, enemy phase for the French units. <sighs> okay, so movement. We're not going to move you. We're not moving you. We're not moving them. We're not moving these guys. And well, he should come off. He was done after he did his last fire. Um... Is there any enemy disruptions on German units? I don't think so. And there's no friendly disrupt. Okay. Well. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't happen to block your movement, anyways. <sighs> Can't move in there. I'd love to get here. So if we go try to get through here, we're going to take a two to one attack. The first unit, which means you'd have to roll six to not stop us. It's not, well, I mean, it is him playing against me, which means that uh, I could definitely roll that six, but I just don't, uh, I, don't, I don't like those odds. So what can we do? We're stuck, basically. I can move him up to double up our odds. I mean, trying to take this out 
he's not going to be able to get it, but he'll be able to move in. He'll be able to move in next time and then just smoke us. So should I move away? Or should I move here? Ah, uh, then I get shot at from the field gun. Yeah, Germans just don't have any easy. And if I pull back, I mean, that's obviously the smart, safe thing to do. Then the French are going to be able to occupy here, here. So that's just going to get worse and worse. What a problem we have. What a problem. What do we do? What do we do? Do we move up? I mean, we'll get smoked. 6, 12, 14. I mean, but we'll get to fire. We'll get to fire. With 14, that'll be doubled to 28. Plus, I can pull in my, uh, my artillery. That could do it. That could do it. I gotta go for it. So up I move. Up I move. These two are gonna stay here. Uh, actually, you know, I should have done the machine gun can do up to two. So that was very dumb. How about I uh I'll give the French this. We sh the interdiction interdicting fire should be like this. Because it can do two hexes in a row uh, so it should be like that because I just noticed hey I can go one two three and so the interdicting fire from that machine gun is both of these hexes I'll give that to the French um, so we can't go in there and I don't want to try I mean, even though six I could try but why? Why? This guy's disrupted. I can't fight back. I could move one, two, three, and then get a three to one. Because I want my artillery focusing on here. But then I leave the town. But no, I'm just not doing it. I'm just not. No, but if I don't do it, I mean, I can flip that to an enemy phase. Tough, 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 tough. All right, we're going to be done. We're done moving. So remove markers. Remove the eliminations. Uh, this is the enemy phase from as far as the French are concerned. So nope, that one stays on. This one comes off. So we can fire. Not that it has anything to fire at. And now it is a German fire phase again. So this time, so he can't fire back. Okay, so well, we have to do this. this is, so 7, 14, that's 28. 38. 48. 56. Uh, that's 7 to 1 odds. That's an automatic elimination. No screwing around. 56 to 8. But that takes everything. He won't be able to move in there, but he'll still come in in the eyes. Oh, this is going to suck next, next turn. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, the interdiction's come off, too. Yeah, we can get rid of that line. Um, or I could go 28, 38. 47, 47, so that would be 5 to 1, yeah, no, my luck's not good enough, 5 to 1, I'd have to roll 1 to 4, but I would like to destroy this unit, you know, you know, but anyways, we'll do this first, so what's, uh, 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 God. let's fire, the dismantled cavalry is going to fire at these guys, try to roll that disruption on to enemy phase. We'll do that first and see what happens. And that's a four. On a one-to-one -one, that is a disruption. So that rolls this guy's disruption on to now enemy phase. 
So that guy's out of the action for quite some time. So now that I'm safe to use my guns for what I want to use. So we're going to do that attack. So I'll count it up again just to make sure. So 28. 38. 48. 57. And 56 is what we need to do 7 to 1 odds to an 8 defense. So that is an automatic elimination of this French unit. So let's take this off. Take this off. That could go away. And this guy can go over here. This guy can go over here, the mounts. And we need an elimination counter. It goes right there. However, no, he was disrupted, wasn't he? So he can't fire at us. He was still disrupted. So none of that's happening. Um, yeah, he was already disrupted. And this observed marker stays there. We could, we could keep shooting at that hex all day long, according to the rules. Because, well, because the rules say so. Uh, that is our fire. We can't fire over here. We'd like to, but not yet. We're still in the woods, still hidden away. So we remove the markers. We now rotate the board to the French. And the French get their fire phase. The French get their fire phase. And now the French are going to get to move next time. So interdicting fire doesn't really matter when you're going to get the next move phase. So we're just firing. So there's nothing they can see. There's nothing they can see. Actually, you know what? There's nothing that our field gun can see. It could see. No, it can't because this is, I believe, what's this going to see this here? That's blocking. That doesn't matter. It's, we're not on a crest, so it's just it's blocking. Uh, these guys can't see us, can they? That howitzer could see us, though. That howitzer could be doing observed fire on us, but it would be it would be less than one to uh, one to one odds. But he's been busy. Um, I don't think the French have any fire whatsoever. Right? Can't see through there. Oh, slopes don't slopes don't block line of sight. So let's just take a look. Let's take a look. Now, according to that, I don't touch those crests. And slopes do not. Let's just zoom in here and make sure we're right. Yeah, that does not touch the crest. So technically, but it would only be four. That's two to one odds. That's two to one odds. There is a chance uh, if I roll one, I destroy him. And that would flip that over because it's just after the German move phase. That would flip that over to friendly phase. That would roll that. Oh, wait a minute, that's our own unit for Christ's sakes. Right? Yeah. Get a grip, man. Get a grip. I, I was excited because I thought we were going to get to hear the sound of those machine guns firing. Uh, yeah, there is no fire with the French. All right, well, let's uh, remove markers. And we are done. Turn eight. We now move the game turn to turn nine. What have I done? I got my, uh, I know what I've done. Configuration. Top menu. Yeah. Alright. We just move our turn to nine. Turn counter nine. And we'll be back with the French movement phase. So there we go. That was a whole turn. I don't know how long that took, but I'm about to find out. Uh, have a good night, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time for Turn 9.